letter to Governor Hogan and Secretary Ron at the uh, Maryland Department of Transportation. This is actually uh, quite a good letter. And um, Commissioner President, it, it could probably be read into the record if, if you'd like, instead of trying to explain it. Okay. So if you want to have someone read it in, that would be great. This is a, a letter from the Queen Anne's County Commissioner, so to Honorable uh, Larry Hogan, our governor, and to Pete Ron, the, the Secretary of Transportation. Uh, Dear Governor Hogan and Secretary Ron, the commissioners of Queen Anne's County request the state of Maryland to alleviate the difficulties that state traffic practices are now causing to our county. Our citizens are regularly gridlocked by traffic traversing part of the county such that an emergency vehicles, fire and ambulance are detained. The citizens prevented from leaving and returning to their homes and our, our jurisdiction otherwise subjected to persistent inconvenience and jeopardy. Maryland is unique in being divided by a geographical feature, the Chesapeake Bay. This transaction is only connected at a single point midway by the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. The traffic burden on this single facility crosses Kent Island, Queen Anne's mostly, most densely populated area on its way from the metropolitan centers to the ocean. The flow proceeds on, on the only road crossing Kent Island, Route 50, and as a result of this island, geographically, when the highway stalls, it creates perilous circumstances for the safety and well-being of the 20,000 local citizens. Following years of persistent increases in traffic, gridlock is now occurring quite regularly over, the part, over parts of Route 50 and it, as it passes through Kent Island and down to Route 404. Recognizing an increase in national car sales and with gasoline sales on the upswing, one can only expect that this situation to worsen. Traffic flows are now very close to peak capacity both on the bridge and on this section of highway, leaving even minor imp impotence to cas cascade into freeze-ups. Mr. Wilson, did you write this letter? Yes, he did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My man. <laughs> Queen Anne's County is one of only two counties that do not have a hospital in Maryland. That's, that's a shame. That is also determined by state certificate of need policy. So we are at the mercy of central government both as regards both as as regards our traffic and medical circumstances we ask you to recognize the situation that these policies cause and which are completely beyond local control our county government is well aware that traffic difficulties and inconveniences are a statewide issue but our unique situation now exceeds the usual rationalizations of trade and convenience with no hospital our medical recourse depends on rapid access and that is now regularly denied by the quantity of traffic we experience. State road policy and construction cannot be quickly adapted to mediate this. So we are requesting removal from the normal queue of Maryland road projects and asked to be given fast track in both design and execution of a system to alleviate our increasing difficulties, particularly in the Kent Island corridor. The Commission of Queen Anne's County has thought to request relief of some specific issues in this region. Our reconsidera on reconsideration, we conclude that no piecemeal approach will suffice. What is required is a recognition by the state that this constricted section in its entirety be evaluate evaluated and remedied. Those measures which improve the situation with themselves, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Those measures which improve the situation will themselves be disrupting and further disadvantage our area while they are being introduced. In our opinion, it is necessary to recognize that this situation is not just another element of the humdrum and inconvenience of modern times. They are also not the result of short-sighted local practice and development. They have been imposed on our county for the convenience of others, other parts of the state. Queen Anne's County is central in its distribution of intrastate traffic, and one should not be reminded that by and large, neither the origins nor destinations of travelers lie in our county, nor does, does much of the county ben benefit by the traverse. Man, you're killing me on this. <laughs> With these thoughts in mind, we ask that you consider an accelerated process to remedy deteriorating conditions. We are appreciative of the attention to transportation that are given now in existence, but in the interest of our citizens and in fairness, we hope that you will exert more timely and forceful response than what is now in prospect. <laughs> Whew, well done. I need a break. English. English. <laughs> this signed by the county commissioners. So Thank I'd, you. I'd like to remark on this briefly that the Bay Bridge 
probably five or ten percent of the time is now running at ninety or hundred percent of capacity. We have in on Route 50 a very persistent long-term growth rate of traffic of one percent. Actually, this Fourth of July, our traffic over last year was up almost six percent. That's maxing out the Bay Bridge. This is not only imperative, both from the emergency concern that is expressed in this letter, but our principal, our principal avenue of revenue for this county are people that go west across that bridge. This thing is absolutely vital. If you want to talk about something that's good for jobs or something that would attack our job base, it's the, it's the capacity of our citizens to get from their homes to their jobs. And with this thing running so close to capacity, with the fact that even the planning of any new bridge expansion of the road and so on takes years, and then the construction of it more years, to let this thing languish, and not for our government to pursue pushing it, I cannot think really of another thing that's more important to the future of the county that we have any effect over than this particular item, which is why I think we ought to be pushing it. And in fact, I think we ought to be in some coalition with other areas that benefit from it, like Ocean City, like the commuters, like the people that go to the beach, like the American Automobile Association, like Anne Arundel County. All these are forces that ought to join with us in accomplishing getting this thing done and not just have it be, because if you look at the sort of blighted areas around New York at the beginning of the Holland Tunnel, Lincoln Tunnel, GW Bridge, where traffic, there's a kind of permanent gridlock, it is the death of an area when you see that, just cars always standing, waiting to creep into something. We're going to be there because by the time this stuff gets done, even if we started now, we're going to be in a mess, and we need to get this thing accelerated. And I don't know of anything these county commissioners could do that would have more effect in the long term than accomplishing that. I, I, Commissioner Wilson, I, I agree with you 100%. You know, it's about time that the state, and I believe this new governor will, for, for many years in this state, the, the governor and the, you know, the, the people in control have taken the money from the Eastern Shore and applied it to Western Shore projects, and it's time to stop. It's time for them to start putting money into the Eastern Shore. And as you mentioned, the Reach to Beach program, we just were proposed uh, a couple of weeks ago a traffic study. We went to, a, you know, it could cost us a couple hundred million dollars if we did all these proposals even if we did one or two of the proposals is 20 to 30 million bucks and every little bit of money helps and i would hope that the governor looks at this and helps us out okay so we we need a vote to sign the motion to sign the letter motion that we sign the letter second. Uh, motion a second any further discussion all those in favor aye, aye. opposed so moved yeah, thank you commissioners <coughs> commission president